this home that I sit in, I sit in today filming this, never in my wildest dreams, y'all. Never in my wildest dreams. Yes, I wrote and I and I wrote down and I prayed to God and I told God what I wanted and I you know I asked God and you know I always heard to talk to God in silence and and only keep it to yourself and we never vocalized it. But this house didn't even ask for certain aspects. It's so crazy. Little things about this house. I walk around. I'm like, it's outlets everywhere. Every time I'm like, wow, I really like to plug up my phone. I look up, it's an outlet. It's outlets everywhere. And it's so funny because there was never any outlets in my apartment. We didn't have outlets in the bathroom. You could, ha you would have to do the extension cords. All Clothes, I'm no, just no. gonna wash those, but I have no idea where I'm gonna put them because as you gonna about to see, are sharing their room with Vivi, which is a real blessing because as you saw, our room was packed. All over the world, there's outlets everywhere. And those little teeny things where it was just like, I, 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 I. You just feel like, oh my God, you built this for me. I was in mind when you built this because you knew I would need an outlet. Like that's how, that's the giddy, that's the wonder, that's the, that's the little things that he does that now you just sit here and you just feel so like, you were thinking about me. You knew I needed, you know, three or four outlets. Not that I need it, but if they're here, they're at my disposal. There's an outlet over here. There's an outlet in the counter. There's an outlet for the crock pot. There's an outlet for the Kurgan. It's just outlets out the butt. See this, the smile. Go to Curly Mommy Vlogs. Check out the channel. See where we came through. See the apartment. See the clutter. See the chaos. See the foolishness. See the two adults. Like, have my stuff all over her house so she feels like that is clothes i'm just gonna wash those but i have no idea where i'm gonna put them because as you go about to see our that were walking around with no teacher just walking around no, no no we had a teacher but we weren't listening two students that had a teacher willing to teach standing in the front of them like hey if you two wake up and listen to me i'll take you guys where you need to go and we're just sitting there looking at each other what you think you should do what you think you should do i think we should do this well maybe we should do this i don't know oh i'm gonna do what i feel and guess what we lived the foolishness we lived the foolishness you have a teacher you have a wonderful teacher that will guide you and who will instruct you and he will talk to you but you have to give up a part of you you have to give up the foolishness and sometimes it's hard to give up the foolishness because we have made it our story we have we have carried it we have held on to the foolishness and being um uh what's the word i'm trying to look for uh in poverty or being poor and being struggling sometimes is as a baby we hold on to that struggle we hold on to that because that's our that's our crowd we don't know never had no money oh i can't never get nothing you know he wants us to live an abundant and happy and joyful life he wants us to be encouraged he wants us to or did say this i love my house but i love god more for my house because i know out of a shadow of a doubt that there was no way that we could have lived in this neighborhood in this house and pay the rent that we paid if it wasn't a god up high that put in these this just oh sometimes i sit back and i think I think when I was sitting in that apartment and I just felt so overwhelmed and so abandoned, y'all. I felt abandoned and very much my cheerleaders. And when you don't have it anymore, it's just, it's, it's, devast it's just devastating. He dumped me off in Cherry Hill with these three kids and all I, you know, I don't cheat. I don't cuss. I don't even drink anymore, God. I have totally changed. I have changed my ways. You know, I'm not that same person. And you just, you just took me out and you just dumped me and left me in Cherry Hill. And, you know, I, I did. I was like, I, I, I would read these Bibles. I would pray. I would, I was just a miserable, miserable mess. And that whole time that whole time he said we're going to meet with this committee and we're going to get this committee to come around and they're going to meet and they're going to build these these houses and these are going to fit in her income and then they're going to build it and then they're going to build it the way i want it to be and i'm sitting here oh, and he's just working just working just working and just 
And I'm over here, God don't love me. I just knocked on the door and it was the police and the fire department and they said the roof upstairs just caved in and me and the kids had to evacuate the building. Isn't that cool? I am over here having a temper tantrum. And he's just over here building. Building, 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 building. And then he gives it to me. And then he goes, you're welcome. <laughs> welcome you know and I, and I know I can't say nothing I can't say nothing I, I can't say a word he and J. Rowe were not the same two dummies that moved into Vicky's house when we lost our apartment we had grown we had saw him and we were like we are ruined we are ruined. We are changed. We are going to change. We are going. We we we're going to be quiet. We're going to we're going to follow you to the best of our abilities. We are changed. We are. He has ruined us. Okay, ruined us in the most wonderful way. It's nothing wrong with changing. Changing is beautiful. Changing is life. <sighs> It's life changing. It's life opening that anger and that fear and that hurt and that disappointment that just you carry around with you all day, every day. He kind of some kind of way has a way of coming in and just. And I thought about the things that were bothering me and I, I don't even know how it happened, but nothing is bothering me. I know it sounds crazy, but there's nothing wrong. I'm so happy. I know. I look like a fool. I sound like a fool, but I'm so happy. He changes you from the inside out, and that's just... That's grace. He, him. Him. Him, ungrateful, unorganized, unstable me. He's just thinking about and planning things for me to surprise me. Who am I? I'm, I'm nobody, you know, but I'm somebody to him. Somebody so important to him. You are someone so important to him. You know, you're so important. And I just need you to feel that. I need you to know that. I need you to know that if you make these changes, if you if you if you really look, look, look at your look at your finances, look at what's foolishness, look what doesn't need to be needed, look what you're spending your money on that shouldn't be spending your money on. Seek him, pray to him, ask God, okay, what am I supposed to do? And then do it. And enjoy the process. Enjoy the process, because that's one thing that I'm learning to do. The whole process that happened before, I was a complaining, whining, neurotic mess. I didn't enjoy anything. This season of my life, I'm. I want to. Ugh, I want to eat it up. I want to eat. It. I want to enjoy it. I want to just watch him and just go. Oh my! I didn't even see that coming. Didn't even see that one coming. You know, I was missing my kids. I was always like, okay, with the kids, you know. Oh, I want, you know, Aiden to start walking. Oh, I want Aiden to start talking. Oh, I want to change diapers. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want that. And now I'm just, pause, stop, eating it up, eating it up, eating the kids, eating j Rowe because it's going to get to a point where the kids are going to be grown. It's going to get to a point where things are going to be different. We're going to be a new season with me and j Rowe. It's going to be a point. It's going to be all these points. Don't miss it. Don't miss the little teeny blessings that are going on because you're just sitting in yourself and wallowing and self-pity and destruction and foolishness because he's working. He's working it out. He sees the big picture. I didn't see this. I just saw this. And 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 I and I and I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. Most beautiful girl.